When you've got a job to do, do it now. If it's one you wish was through, do it now. <laughs> if you're sure the job's your own, just tackle it alone. Don't hem and haw and groan. Just do it now. I love it. I love it. I live by For that. For people that sell on eBay like Between me, they need that in their room. Right Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm actually headed to a private pick right here. There's a lady who was in one of the antique booths that we have and she picked up my card. And I guess if I have the story straight, she started watching the show. And when she started watching the show, she realized that she had a friend that needed a little help. I believe she was a little older and needed a little help downsizing before they made a move. And so she contacted me and I'm headed over there right now to see if there's a few things that we can uh, maybe buy off of her and uh, come to an agreement on a price that, that makes it worth everybody's while and hopefully connect her with somebody that might be able to help her with the rest of the estate as well. So at any rate, hope it goes well. I guess you'll see in a minute. All right, well, it's a beautiful home. I hate doing this sometimes because you just don't really want to make somebody angry when they've invited you into their house about prices and whatnot. But hey, what the heck, we'll uh, give it a shot. Oh. I've been helping. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, all right. So these I'm gonna sneak are in. those um, collector plates. Mm -hmm. uh, they're from the um, Bradford, Bradford Exchange. Exchange. Right. Yeah. Right. And so there are, they're in um, collections. Right. They're all Bradford Exchange. They're all Bradford yeah. Exchange. Okay. Oh Do you have God. an idea of uh, like when you acquired them? What, what uh, decade oh, what was it? Over a period of time. Okay. Uh -huh. So maybe 80s? This is, um, yes, yeah. Probably. Could, this is an Elvis Presley group, and okay. this is the Sound of Music group. Okay. And right. it's just different kinds of... And the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Yeah. This is, it, yes. it will really matter what they are. Because mm -hmm. some will be worth nothing, and some will be worth something. Well, she was, <laughs> the type She was thinking collector. along the lines of just saying... The whole maybe the right, whole right, bunch. right, right. Which would be fine. I'll just have to do a little bit of research in a little bit if you don't mind. And, well, she's, I'll have to look around everything and then come back and do a little. Three dollars a okay. plate and take them. Okay. Off. All right. All right. Just come right. on and look. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Now. Oh, some skiers here. Oh, yeah. these are beautiful. Four flexible flyers. Okay. And I know they are flexibles because my husband sold them. They're flexible flyers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Old-fashioned ham boiler. Okay. That people used to cook no, that's on an open neat. fire. It has legs on it. Okay. All right. And she's Those got some old little baskets Two down. Baskets I don't know if they're here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any. Yeah, usually you can get those at bulk at at, uh, at auctions and stuff. They've got a little. I mean, they're worth a couple bucks. Mm -hmm. That one maybe a little bit more because it's got the lid. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. All right. All right. What and else we got? To organize this. Wow. Somewhat. Yes. So she's got you know bins with Christmas okay. items. She's got some electronics. Okay. And um, there's also an elect. I know you like electronics. I do like electronics. And a nice little trunk, too. an electronic football game. Oh, really? I actually have one almost identical except for it's baseball. Okay. <laughs> so she's, she's got an electronic awesome. football game. We've put puzzles together. Like I so said, we've tried okay. to. Is be everything a in here basically for sale? Uh -huh. The furniture's not. The furniture's not. Okay. Well, some of the furniture is, okay. but like the sofa is not for sale. Look at that. This Boost. chair and these two chairs, I think she's. My daughter's see. name is Reagan. And um, we just found these the other day. These are pretty neat, okay. um, old. They're identification cards from World War II. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they and then um, the Victrola's over there. Yeah, so that in the picture, yeah, that'll be an interesting that. one. I'll have to do a little research on that one for sure. Okay. And then because these are all videos. over the place. And I might not be the right person for this, but I might be able to find the right person for it. You know what I mean? This, these are champagne glasses, 36 champagne glasses. Okay. I told her that these punch cups are like a nickel a piece. Yeah, <laughs> it's just glass that. is tough. It it's is, just it tough. Is. That's an old need. You'd be surprised. Sometimes you're like, I can't believe that's worth money and that's not worth right. money. 
people with like China these days think that China is always worth money, and, and it's really not. <laughs> I mentioned these not only thinking that you would like the games, mm -hmm. but I the graphics on them and the, the mid century aspect of it. So, this one is in pristine shape. Okay. This one's torn. Believe it or not, these are hard sellers on That's eBay. What you said. Very hard sellers on eBay. This would be the kind of thing that if I picked it up, it would sell Just in the go booth. In your booth. Go yeah. in my antique yeah. booth. Yeah. And okay. The, I, these actually were kind of neat. Like this is the kind of thing that would definitely sell in an antique booth in <coughs> in like mm -hmm. July or something. Right. You know, in the middle of, middle of the. Because right. that's kind of unique. You know, you don't it's see that all the time, mm -hmm. right? So, but there's some definitely some. And let's see and these right here. Do you know? I, I, they've become really popular. I yeah, think. yeah. Do you have a brand? See, is there a brand? There's no brand on them, so they're generic. But you would be surprised. I was watching the. Y'all watch, uh, I'm sure y'all remember All in the Family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they have these on their walls oh, yeah. and All oh, in the no. Family, and it mm -hmm. cracks me up because they, they have started to sell a little bit. Yeah. Um, the I've branded ones sell. Needful. I've had some in my mm -hmm. in the Needful Things booth. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And I think those sell fairly. Mold. They're okay. You know, they, they, they even sell on eBay. They're cake decorating. Yep. Yep, I've sold these in the past. I haven't sold too many of these lately. Just they're they're difficult because they're very hard to get when you're doing shipping on eBay. You want to get things that are under 16 ounces, and so I could get this under 16 ounces, but it wouldn't be packed very well, mm -hmm. and then it ends up getting damaged or bent. Right. So those are one of those borderline items, um, because nobody's going to pay eight dollars, nine dollars for you to ship this to them right. and pay eight or nine dollars more. So. Um, but that would be something that would definitely sell in a booth. Like this is, uh, you know, looks like a princess castle. castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Princess and so castle. that's the kind of thing you could get a couple bucks for in a booth and you really can't get much more it's than that. Do no, in? I don't want in. Okay. I just was picking Open this thing up. Because that is neat. Yep. <laughs> I like that. Let me show you. All right, this you show is me. something else that, um, of course, the sewing machine is not. Oh, look at see. that. That's really neat. It's all intact. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to look that up in a minute. <laughs> Those are neat. That's the perfect item for an antique booth too, because they would just. It's because the average. It's because the artwork yep. on it. The artwork is neat. All right, let's see what else you got over here. I grew up uh, not far from Disneyland. My parents grew up in Orange County, okay. so Disney stuff always stands out. California. Did you really? Where at? In Westminster. Okay. I am not terribly familiar with that area. I grew up out in San Bernardino County, okay. just, just outside of Riverside. Mm -hmm. um, but see, that's Walt Disney character. So that's actual Walt Disney. Hmm. That's interesting. It And this stuff, this kind of stuff could go anywhere. You know, there's certain old vintage Disney that's worth a lot and some that's not worth anything. So I'm going to see if I can find that particular one and see what it's going there's for. Where's that? I'm trying to see orphan. Oh, there, right here. Yeah. Look at that. That's neat. Yep. She's pretty <laughs> I love old plush. I don't know why. I'm a sucker <laughs> for it. I like old uh, business things, too. Sometimes even silly stuff. like I mean, this is an old box of staples, right? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you f I find old staplers, and they'll sell sometimes. So, I don't know, backgammon paste. That looks like it's travel. Travel it size. Is. Magnetic. I sell the little magnetic pieces. If you can believe that. Uh-huh. Those are just trophies of the kids. Mm -hmm. They got to... They're coming to pick those they're up. They're going to pick weekend. those okay. up. Sometimes uh, that's good. <laughs> uh -huh. I always look because if you find old uh, racing trophies, yeah, um, usually old racing, racing trophies mm -hmm. will have a lot of value. Yeah. And uh, the ones with the cars on them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I always, I always well, peeking I'm at trophies. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, yep, those will definitely go. I've sold those These on eBay mid, before. But my my father was uh, very much into Craddock and Terry. Okay, yeah. Uh, years ago. Let me look and see if there's any markings on them. So these are the kind, I've sold a few of these in our booth, so. No kind of vintage-y puzzles in a while, so I'd be curious. Some, some will have value. The old Disney ones do okay. I don't see any of those. Christmas ones sometimes do pretty well too, so Big Ben. So I'll have to look some of those up. All right, let's see what else we got here. The old toys, Holly Hobby. I've sold yeah, some of that, and, so and does dolly. this have, by any chance, have the thing inside of it? No, no it doesn't. Mm. No, it doesn't. If it did, it would probably be worth close to 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. I sold my Snoopy lunchbox for 40 at Needful yep. Things mm -hmm. with the original thing. Yep. Yeah. So without it, you're, you know, maybe 
probably less than 10. And some Fisher Price pool toys. Some of these have pretty good value. Some of them don't. It just depends on, you know, the old Disney Fisher Price pool toys are really good, but you don't find those very often. Oh, you found that. <laughs> that is interesting. I've never seen anything like it. Well, then take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> is I guess it a Coke bottle that got, I think they may have heated it up and stretched it up. That is interesting. Huh. I don't know what to think of that. This is my motto <laughs> for life. I love the table. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Fred built that for me. That's awesome. And he built these up That's here for really me. That's really nice. When you've got a job to do, do it now. If it's one you wish was through, do it now. <laughs> if you're sure the job's your own, just tackle it alone. Don't hem and haw and groan, just do it now. I love it. I love it. I live by For that. people that sell on eBay Between like me, they need that in their thing, room. Uh, you're not interested in selling that little little step stool, are you? I can let that step stool go if you think it's... Yeah, I, I usually sell them for like $10 in my booth. Okay. What is this sign back here? Student and some... Y'all stealing signs, huh? Student and faculty <laughs> parking. years old. Where is that too? Huh? It's a student and faculty parking sign. That'd be something you'd sell? I would. Okay, I'll have to dig it out then. I wish it had Lynchburg College on it. That would give it some more value. This is gonna be pretty generic. It should've come from there, I don't know that it is. Uh, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a hard seller, but I still might buy it. <laughs> Huh? I said it's going to be hard for me to sell that because it doesn't have any markings on it. No. Like Millinsburg College or anything like that. No, but I, I still it like did. it. I still like it and I went to all the trouble of digging it out so I'm still going to probably buy it. What about other things? That's a good question. Oh. Holy cow! The Night Before Christmas coloring book. Oh my word. Okay, so you know, th you know this is the guy who kind of invented the American Santa yes. Claus. Limit he did and he was a uh, minister mm -hmm. and he did it for his kids and he made the whole story you know and Santa was a mm -hmm. was a tiny little dwarf in that thing I don't know if you know that or not I mean his eight tiny reindeer but that's interesting but it's damaged it is <laughs> it is still kind of neat though I'm gonna leave it right here okay how about 150 bucks for, for this and that and and in 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 that record player Oh, and the is that okay? okay? Is that fair to you? Fair to me. Okay, I'm gonna give you the money. Me I'm the gonna go move my car, and, and we'll take care of that when I got my car packed up. Name of the man. Now I gotta make sure I have $150 on me. Uh, now, <laughs> I think I do, but I'm not positive. You know, well, uh, we know where to find you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh -huh. true. I, I suppose. I have it. I have it. Where I do have you it. Teach? So, all mm. right. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30. So there's 130. Not done yet, though. All right. 130. 150. And there's the $5 commission you owe her, so 155. She's worth more than $5 now. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, I'm going to go get some bags, and I'm going to bring them back down here, okay? okay? All right, so we got quite a bit of stuff there. You know, I'm always hesitant like that. You know, you're going into a house, somebody's home, they're downsizing, they've called you because they know what you do, and I just, I hate giving people prices on their own items when they're they're having to move for necessity or something like that. So, at any rate, it was a good time. They were some really, really good people. It was fun. And I tried to give them fair prices. Some of the things I don't know quite yet, but we're gonna make some money. Most of it was for the booth. And that's okay but there are going to be four or five items that pay for everything that i bought i think i spent about 160 and then the rest will be all profit but it'll be slow going so anyway we'll let you take a look when we get home all right i don't often do a haul video after the sale that i pick but this time i thought i would because a lot of it you couldn't really see i spent 160 dollars total and they were trying to give me stuff at the end and they ended up giving me quite a bit of extra stuff as well some of it I have on here, some of it I have in other places because I'm going to end up giving it to somebody else. But they were incredibly kind, incredibly generous, and I'm very thankful. So just a little Santa puzzle, giant frame, 
I'll probably put it in the booth at Christmas, but there's something I bought the frame for actually, so I might try that first. This is not an amazing record player. I would not buy it to sell on eBay. It's a Wildcat. But I have sold two record players similar to this in the booth already, just for like $15 to $25. Nothing amazing. So I thought I'd pick it up. Now, I spent $160. Bucks. This one right here could, depending on if everything is in it and it's working, could pay for everything. Um, and it also could only sell for about $50. Bucks. So... This one is, they pointed out, it is the right model here, 620, model 620, is like the creme de la creme for these. And then each one has two teams. So this one is, it says Browns and Giants inside, but they're not. This has the Cowboys and the Packers. So that's going to be pretty good, I think. And it does look like it has most of the figures. So I'm going to sell off the figures separately, possibly. If everything's not here... If everything's not here and working, I'm going to part the heck out of this thing and make a bunch of money that way. So this is going to be really good. Not quite sure why it says Browns and Giants inside because it definitely is Packers and um, Cowboys. So anyway, my guess is I'm probably going to part it out and make a bunch of money a little bit at a time. But that's a really good one. I ended up getting that sign in the, in the lot as well. It's not a sexy sign by any stretch of the imagination. But I like it, and it is really big. I'm either going to sell it in the booth for like 20 bucks, put it either on the side of the Commonwealth cabin or in the Commonwealth cabin, or I'm going to paint it all black and have, or blue, and have Blue Ridge Mama do something with it. She's going to make a Commonwealth picker sign or, or Commonwealth flipper sign or something like that. Who knows? At any rate, I like it. It's a big, giant, heavy metal sign, so it's definitely worth throwing in a lot. These are going to all go in the booth. Some of these, I'm going to look to see if there's brand names. Might have some value, but I doubt it. One at a time. This will sell. These are watermelon bowls. And they'll sell in the booth in the summertime, but not for much. This one sells for about $10. It has their certificate. You know, nothing special. $10 plus shipping. This guy here, if it had the thermos, would go for like $25, but it doesn't. So it's $10 plus shipping. A little leader of the band. Some barware back here. Uh, the puzzles aren't great, except for this one. I think this one's going to end up having some value if everything's there. Vintage motocross stuff is really good. And I sold that shirt for like 40 bucks. I'm going to list this thing for maybe like $30 plus shipping, I think. So maybe $40. We'll see. Who knows? I might not be able to get anything for it. This I'm going to use in the booth. I'm going to put the die cast cars in it and hopefully have kids buy them out of it. Is my guess these are really good u.s army navy aircraft and they are you know identification identifying foreign planes and this is probably 40 to 50 dollars worth right there this was homemade by the woman who we bought the stuff from and she gave it to us really cheap you know and with the rest of the stuff so i'm like you know somebody's gonna buy that this spring i think it'll sell in the booth some old craddock terry stuff some old uh shoe stuff uh, this stuff will all sell for, you know, not amazing price, but it'll sell. I got that Coke bottle opener. I think that's kind of neat. Here's a Philco. Now, this has a lot of value. If it was a different color, it probably would be worth, worth like 80 bucks. This is a vintage Philco. It's like Bakelite style. I don't know if that's Bakelite, but a lot of them, I think, back then were. So that is really cool, and it buzzes. I can't get any sound out of it, but it's in good shape. So I'm thinking maybe $50 on that one. Maybe not. We'll see. But at least $40. This one is not one I would typically buy, GE, that radio, but it worked. And it worked fairly well. And so I'm thinking maybe $30 to $40 plus shipping on eBay or put it in the booth for $20. Bucks. Just some old kitchenware. Here's a little Orphan Annie from the 70s. That'll go for like $10. I bought this. These are those old magnetic backgammon pieces that you see me sell all the time. And I ran out. I sold 15 sets and made like two bucks a piece on them. So 30 bucks. So this is probably going to make 30 bucks right there eventually. We'll sell the die and all that separate. So there's another five bucks. So $35 worth of profit right there in that bag. It'd probably take three years. Uh, this is kind of neat. You know, Reagan Bush. And it says, let's make America great again, which I thought was interesting. So if I put that in the title, presidential campaign, you know, something like that. But that doesn't have a tremendous amount of value. I think the most I saw one sell for was 20 plus shipping. But they should sell all day long in a political campaign year for, you know, $10 plus shipping. This I did not see on there, that inauguration pennant. 
I did not find it, and I need to look a little harder because I want to find the value of that. Might sell them together. This is from the 1980 campaign, so that's even more valuable than the 84. This is Holly Hobby. It has some value for sure. We'll sell that. Holly Hobby lunch, lunch bag, box, whatever you want to call it. It does not have, unfortunately, have the thermos that goes with it. It could be worth like 50 bucks if it did. A bunch of Wilton pans. We'll put, put them in the booth. You could sell them on eBay, I suppose. It's really not worth the time for the money you're getting. Some vintage Christmas stuff, you know, it'll go in the booth for a buck or two. I did see, now here's some steamship cards. These are new, whatever they are. I haven't looked at those yet, but these are railway card cards. And they're, I think they're poker cards. They might be cribbage, but I doubt it if they're on a railway. They're probably poker. And then another set here. These usually sell in the booth for us for a little bit. And some of them, railroad or, or steam line one might have a little value um, on eBay. This is Delta Airlines, so I'll put 50 cents on it or something. This was really cool when you open it up. It is a complete set. She showed us that in there, so. Stainless steel cutlery, probably in the booth. Here's a handmade Afghan there. That'll sell in the booth. We usually put the old high school stuff in. I don't know, we might sell it like that. We might put it in jars, who knows. These will sell, believe it or not, you can sell replacement pieces to these giant ones, but I'm probably gonna give that to my kids. And, of course, the orange Minnie Mouse doesn't have much value, but we'll put a few bucks on it and put it in the booth. And there's more than this. There are, I like this. I, I remember having this one when I was a child. This particular piggy bank. I don't know much about it, though. Maybe you do. Put that in the booth. Oh, the ladder over here. We've sold some of these ladders. These little wooden step stool ladders sell pretty good. I think the last one we got, we sold for 12, and it sold, like, in two days. So, who knows. I think that everything on, you see on the table is going to be pure profit. I think. Because I think we're going to get our money back out of, if we take that, whatever we sell for 20 or so, and take that, I think those two will pay for everything. All of this will be profit, is my guess. Or close. I mean, we might have to say throw that one in right there, and then everything else is profit. Most of this is antique booth stuff. So I normally don't bring it upstairs, but I brought it upstairs today because I'm going to go through it and I'm going to divide it up. Antique booth or eBay, and then we're going to go to the antique booth and put it all in there. Hey, one more thing is we also got a bunch of vintage uh, sleds out there, so I'll have to let you take a look at those. All right, and last but not least in the whole lot here, and I think I should be able to get 25 bucks a piece for these. Maybe more for this one, obviously, and less for these at Christmas time in the booths. And so that's going to be a nice little profit in the end. They're lightning guiders, and they're in bad condition. So, you know, I could redo them, but I don't think it's worth the time to make the money we're going to make. We'll just put them in a booth just like that. That one's really neat. That one I might ask like 40 50 bucks for. The other ones I'm probably going to ask 25 for. You know, once we sell off the bigger items, I think this these four will be pure profit in the booths. So, I don't know. They're pretty big. I don't know if you can tell on the camera here, but those are pretty long ones. I've seen people sell the slats off of them. See, it says lightning guider right there, but you can barely tell, and I don't think you can tell at all on these, but the construction is almost identical, so my guess is they're all lightning guiders, and that one's been painted over, so. But definitely $25 in the booths in November, December.